Hey guys, Inky here. Welcome to Digimon Ghost Game Episode 2 Review. It's the actual review. Let's go. I'm hungry. Oh wait, I just ate. Gamamon is hungry. Please feed your Gamamon people. So Gamamon fries tons of different food, right? Everyone loves food. Digimons love food. But did you know that the food Gamamon likes the most is everything. But if there was one food to rule them all, chocolate or champion. So we get a lot of cute little moments of Gamamon eating. This does build into something later on. So what appears to be an innocent, sweet, of course Digimon eat type of deal becomes something more than that. Also, apparently Gamamon knows how to open doors, but that's not the important thing. There's a Digimon stealing the age of people in order to heal them, or what he assumes is stealing. So, I think I've already hinted too much towards what today's Digimon actually is. But the thumbnail will give it away anyways. It's, it's Mummymon. But we have a lot of stuff going on with the museum in the background with the Egyptian exhibition or exhibit where it's really being shown off and being put front line and center. And you have Luli, Luli Sun. Okay. Doromon's partner, but we don't know that yet. No. No, I gotta, I gotta play the Baka. I don't know. But there's actually a Digimon. Like, right here, following her, protecting her. Nope, oh, not supposed to know that. Probably did, have not watched the episodes past this. Nope. But her friends actually are... Uh, kind of important to all of this. And also, people freaking out because Hilo is talking to a bush. Okay, Gamamon on Hero's shoulder, and I do Digimon, okay, I think a Chumon, the little pink mouse, Mizumi Digimon. So, we will slowly begin seeing people who, who will just accept Gamamon being a thing. They're like, oh, your AI is really cute. And then Gamamon touches them and they're like, what? It's so realistic. Um, this is an AI, so it can't eat. No, of course it can eat. It wants pizza and champion. So, get a pizza and champion. Ironically, it's just fun to say champion. Just got to love Gamamon's, I don't want to say void tree, but usage of different words to refer to different types of food. So we get snoopy duper snack time with Gamamon. Welcome to the cooking show with Emerald the Gosse, uh, with Insert Chef here, Alex something, or Guy Fiati. Oh, wait, he doesn't cook. But we're talking about the Egyptian mummy exhibit, special display. And it's basically giving away Mummy Mon right here. Not that people haven't already seen what Mummy Mon looks like. I spent a major part of this episode, up until we fully see Mummy Mon here, thinking, oh, how is a rookie? going to be a ultimate because mummy wants an ultimate right right probably i i don't know anymore so my brain went through that process and realized oh gamamon must evolve into something and also we have someone who sighs and when you sigh it's a sign of stress and mummy Mon wants to remove stress and anxiety in people's lives to a certain degree. Basically by giving them rebirth. Also, our friend is out of the hospital. He's still kind of 
that plucky Yosuke from Persona 4 style side character, but it's okay. Do you happy-go-lucky side character that hits on nurses of hospitals are acceptable? And you, I'm suspicious. They don't be suspicious, but I'm totally suspicious. He's totally a this person is totally a Digimon, right? I mean, looks like a Digimon, maybe. But now we actually get on to finding Mummymon, Hero, and Gamamon. First, try to do like, hey, there's no problem here, but you can't be taking people because he has like tens. Of people down here wrapped up, keeping them under lock and key, wrapping bandage. So bandages were used to bind Gamamon to the wall. It didn't really work all that well. So we transition into a slow fight scene. The fact that it was a slow transition continues to build the thought process. Stoning Mummy Mon and Mummy Mon's motive. Trust in my power of purification to attain eternal peace. Basically, to be entirely healed. Also, I said the B word again. I was told I can't say basically a lot anymore, so I'm not gonna say it. So we begin our showgun showdown. Basically, oh, I said it again. Such a good transition word. But Mummymon is going, I guess going ham with the machine gun. The machine gun. Humans give up. Because they all wear a look of exhaustion. See? Like I was referring to, that look of exhaustion caused Mummymon to react. And Mummymon learned how to be a sensei or a doctor in a different time limit time zone but heroes like let's eat champion i mean chocolate again so gamamon does gamamon stuff and we have beltis yes no batel batel gamamon and apparently isn't Patel Gamamon and the Gamamon line from the one Dizzy Vice. But Patel Gamamon has some interesting attacks. So blow and so fire no so shot. So used to everything being translated into fire that I seem to just assume everything is fire. But so shot was able to do some work in Mummymon backstory. Mummymon learned how to be a doctor in Egypt. But Hero suggests Mummymon turn his life around by freeing the people and by becoming an actual doctor. I am sure that Mummymon will be able to learn how to do what Mummymon needs to do to be a doctor. And overall, this episode was a lot of fun. Uh, seeing and understanding Gamamon's desire and want for chocolate. And hey, Holy and Goromon, really, watch out! Uh, she doesn't see. It's okay. But yeah, the episode was very fun. And I'm still in catch-up mode. And we'll be caught up soon.